so let's look at more properties of first order logic and next one is uniqueness what does uniqueness mean you want to talk about objects in the universe using properties and how do you say something is unique and we'll find out soon that is hard to say without using the equality operator so let's look at example first you want to say there is a king you say there exists k such as k is a king how do you say k is there is only one king you can say that by saying that there is a king and for every y if y is a king then y is equal to k that means every king is actually the same king so you need the equality operator that is the key to uniqueness in first order logic equality so first order logic with equality allows uniqueness then can you count can you say there are two kings or there are two ministers or there are two class cr so how do you say that you can say there exists g and there exists a b such as crg and crb and g not equal to b so this is the same equality operator needed again so you have to say the two objects with the given properties and they are not the same and how do you say there are only two crs that means first of all you have to say there are two crs and for every other cr y y is either g or y is equal to b so you can try writing this in first order logic there is no king there are only two ministers everybody likes two people maybe your parents two people like everyone which is different from number 3 two people don't like each other okay the solutions are obvious there is no king you said it's not the case there exists x and king x and there are two ministers how do you say there minister m and n and m is not equal to n and for every z if z is a minister either it is z is m or z is n everybody likes two people how do you say that everybody for all x everybody likes m and f and x likes likes m and x likes f and m is different from f you don't say who x and m and m f are they could even be the same person x can be same as m and the next one two people like everyone that means there are two people x and y and they like every z x like z and y like z and x is not equal to y so they are two different people and similarly don't like is defined as not of like two people don't like each other is defined as x and y x is different from y and x is like y and y doesn't like x so that's about properties thank you